Okay, hey guys, um, this is part two of my MSW logo. So here are super procedures. Now I'll show you awesome. Here is awesome. That is basically a big square with little squares repeating. Um, what I did for that is I cleared screen, then I did square one and all square again as I told you before you can run programs inside of programs all square one is um is repeat four times FD 200 RT 90 and and I have square two and I have up to square 12 I have 12 different squares and they're different sizes going by like I think tens by tens or something and that's what it is and then square one left turn 90 box and to box it's just square three four and five so smaller than bigger than bigger um and then rt 90 four 200 box um and then it just does that a few times i i could have done repeat i just didn't want to um and that's just telling it to do a square square and then at every corner do box which is right here um that's kind of simple squares because square is probably the most simple shape unless you can sort of align the shape but then a line is the simplest shape but a square is pretty much the most simple shape and logo um awesome two is really nothing it's just the same thing a little bit bigger um oh and also if you have this minus out and you're in here and you click a doll it'll pop up saying run running multiple edit sessions is for expert mode only just say okay it really doesn't mean anything um it'll, and they'll just open it up and then cat is actually short for caterpillar no I like to keep my uh, names for my programs pretty short I don't know what the limit is for the name but I mean I have I can type in flower space garden so I mean I wouldn't go very far because then it's just hard to memorize um, but also if you did a program and then you saved it then you opened a new one and you opened a new MSW logo and did other programs you have to open your if you want to run the old program you have to op open up that old program or you can go into the old program click a doll and then copy the code and paste it into this at all and you can type in that program now cat is pretty complicated it's short for caterpillar if I type it in there is a caterpillar um, I mean it's the shapes aren't complicated, but it's a complicated code. Um, it had it's really long. I mean, I probably could have used repeats. I don't know where, but I don't think so because a lot of stuff is different. Clear screen, PU. Um, I don't know if I told you in the last thing, but PU is um, pin up. So if I say forward 40 then PU and then forward 40 again and then or yeah and then pin down and then forward 40 it'll make a line and I don't know what happened to my little triangle um let me check my code real quick cause I know there's a way to get away your triangle, but I forget which one, what it is. I think it's like T, I don't know, but there's some way to get away your triangle, and I just did. Um, but Caterpillar is really long. It's just telling it to do boxes and turn certain degrees and do different size boxes. Then um, the tail is actually pretty complicated because I didn't want the, like, little square to be on the top I wanted it to be at the bottom and on the left not the right and that was not the most complicated part the most complicated part was the um the eyes and the mouth 
I'd have to say um, that was the most complicated part of this procedure because if I go to cat as you can see I had to go like exactly in the middle and do these even and that was hard to position my turtle right especially when you don't have a turtle um, I think it's turtle away T down T I don't know I'll have to figure that out but I forgot how I did that I know I I learned it a while ago but I forget how um and that's just a caterpillar and that squares I mean I have better ones like here's Coolio that's um basically uh enlarged version of how I made the square with the with these and smaller version around the edges. This is a large large uh close up picture of those things. Um I just told it to do forward um longer and then if you do forward longer when you're doing repeats, it will just um make everything bigger. And that's how you make stuff bigger. So um flags that's cut that was actually pretty hard um let me type that in for you guys that is a bunch of square flags meeting at the center and um it was pretty hard doing that the code for that was let me find it one second flags um after I figured out what it was, I um, didn't have to do it anymore, but it took a while for me to figure out what the code I had to punch in was. And what it was is repeat 12 times since there are 12 flags, forward 80, square 4, which is just my a small square, BK80, uh, BK, I didn't tell you guys, is backwards, and um, it just moves your guy backwards, and then RT 30 and it just repeats that and basically what it's trying to do is if you follow my mouse go up make the box and it'll come back right here go backwards right turn a little bit so it's pointing in this direction and do that again and it just repeats that 12 times it took me a while to figure out the right angle so they went overlap because if I say flags um, as you can see it's RT 30 say I did RT 10 if I say file save and exit if I say flat if I say clear screen flags as you can see that is a cool design um, but it's not really what I want. I wanted them all not overlapping. So, just show you pretty complicated stuff. So, play around and um, do different designs and see what you can do. And then check out part three. But yeah, so let's go over to part three. Bye, guys.